First at 10 tonight, bullets fly in the South Sound, leaving one man dead and a community searching for answers. Thanks for joining us at 10. I'm David Rose. And Damaliana Gomez. Investigators are still on the scene in Spanaway tonight, where they say a man shot at a Pierce County deputy. Moments later, that man was found dead. Q13's Frankie Thompson is live in Pierce County tonight with the latest. Frankie. David, there aren't many answers tonight here in Spanaway. As officers tell us, this is a tricky case they're working on. Right now, Pierce County Force Investigation Team is trying to figure out why the deputy was shot at and who the person is that was found dead in their car from a gunshot wound. Crime tape blocks this neighborhood in Spanaway as the Pierce County Force Investigation Team looks into a deadly shooting. People who live in the area say, unfortunately, the city has seen its share of violence before. We're, we're sad that another incident happened, but it's not a surprise that it did. Because it seems like daily there's an announcement or a story that pops up that another thing happened. So, you know, we've just kind of gotten used to the bad news. Officers say a 911 call came in just before 4 about an unwanted person in the neighborhood. They say shortly after the deputy arrived, there was gunfire. That at some point after shots were fired, the deputy requested SWAT to come because of their training and tactics. They're able to safely approach the vehicle and they were able to determine that the subject was deceased. Officer Shelby Boyd says it is unclear who shot at the deputy and who exactly was found dead in the car. Investigators are also working to find out if the deputy shot back. That's why the Pierce County Force Investigation Team was called in to find the answers. It's just, it's sad to see things just, you know, continue to spiral downhill. <clears throat> The deputy who was shot at was not hurt. The Pierce County Force Investigation Team is leading this case. Officers tell us we can expect to learn more details about exactly what happened here as early as tomorrow morning. For now, reporting live in Spanaway, Frankie Thompson, Q13 News.